Hi, I'm Kelly, and I am a solution consultant with Echo Consulting. And today I wanna to walk you through how we solve for reporting for an individual user. In other words, as a project team member, how can I quickly and easily see all the tasks that are assigned to me across one, two, or several projects? So on the screen here, you can see that I have our demo environment, which is a project management solution. <clears throat> In this example, our base um, holds three projects, and we have a table for projects, a table for project phases, a table for tasks, and a table for our stakeholders. And what I've done is I've actually created an interface dashboard for my tasks. So as a project team member, what tasks do I have assigned to me within this base? So this is the published um, version, but Airtable offers a functionality that allows you to filter based on the current user logged in. <clears throat> so you can see here as an example, I have some quick um, number widgets here to show me the number of open tasks I have, past due tasks, tasks due in the next seven days. I also have a chart here as an example, as well as a pivot table. I don't have this interface published, so this is me as an editor. And what's really cool in Airtable is that it allows you to look at the dashboard from different user perspectives. So here I'm able to test and use the dashboard viewing as myself. And then I can also select another team member who's assigned to the project and see how the dashboard would present for them. This is a really great tool to be able to use for testing and QA and things of that nature. So I'm gonna take us out of preview mode to walk you through how I was able to set this up. So in the dashboard interface, you can see I have my widgets here. Um, Airtable offers these plus signs that appear that allow you to add different elements. And in within each of these elements, you can see over here, we have the configuration options for each of those widgets. So essentially for each one, I am setting my title, the data source is automatically tasks, as that's what I set my dashboard to. And I'm just using these filter by conditions to apply that current user filter that Airtable offers. So here, this is open tasks. And so for example, you can see the status is not complete. So that would be any tasks that are not marked as completed and where the assignee um, has any of current user. And that's essentially the filter that I'm using for all of these different elements that I have on this dashboard, in addition to the filters that I need to present the data that I'm hoping, right? So in this example, this is a um, past due tasks um, count, and it's showing finishes before today, status is not complete, and assignee has any of current user. Um, so that's how I have that set up. This is highly recommended for your project management solutions within Airtable. It makes it really easy for users to have a one-stop shop and landing page that they can navigate to, to really see everything that they have on their plate in one place, and then be able to navigate to the data and update tasks accordingly. Um, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll continue to be posting tips and tricks for your Airtable um, usage. Thank you.